what's good on my welcome back to our sneakers where we upload a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today we do have a new video talking about how we can get discounts at Champs, Foot Locker, and Foot Action are also known as the foot stores. Online, they're considered as foot sites. But for now, I'm gonna refer to all of them as foot stores. Before I continue, don't forget to join the Yeezy Mask giveaway. If you guys want to win a Yeezy Mask, all you gotta do is go down in the description below, click the link that says Yeezy Mask Giveaway, and then follow all the instructions. And for every single thing that you do, you do get one entry, and every single entry helps you get closer to getting a Yeezy mask. At the end of the month, I will choose a winner, and that winner gets to choose one out of three colorways that are listed in the giveaway. But anyways, like I said, there is ways to get discounts from Champs Foot Locker and Foot Action. There is three huge discounts, which you guys might not think is that big, but honestly, it starts to add up the more you use them. And the way to get them is pretty much by spending money at the stores. This is pretty much any company's technique, is they'll tell you to spend a certain amount, and they'll give you a certain discount. However, these foot stores are not like most companies. Most companies are like, spend this much, and we'll give you this discount right off the bat. That's not how it works. The way these foot stores work is pretty much you spend a certain amount and they're gonna give you that certain discount, but for a later date, it's not like you have to use it that same day. So this helps a lot when you wanna buy cheaper items and you can pretty much get them for almost free sometimes, depending on what you're getting. So the three things that they have, it might be four, but I'm not exactly too sure. There's for sure three certain discounts that you can get. You can get $10 off, $15 off, and of course the most, which I usually get is $20 off. They might have a $25 off, which is what I was saying, but I'm not exactly too sure. So don't take my word for that, but I'm 100% sure they have up to $20 off. And the way you get these is by spending a certain amount. To get $10 off, you have to spend at least $100. To get $15 off, you gotta spend at least $150. And of course, it makes sense to get $20 off, you have to spend at least $200. And like I said, I usually get the $20 off because I usually get Yeezys from these three stores, the foot sites, which are Foot Locker, Foot Action, and Champs. And of course, Yeezys are over $200. They are at least $200, which are the V1s, but those are only one that released in those foot site stores. And I think it was only Champs. It was the Pirate Black ones, but all the other ones did release pretty much at all those three stores, except I think it was the Frozen Yellows, which are not even here, so it doesn't even matter. But for every single pair you see there, I did get $20 off in at least one store. So I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. I got $140 off for buying seven pairs of Yeezys at least. And that's only if I got one pair per release, but on most of them, I got lucky and got at least two pairs and sometimes even three. So I've most likely gotten at least $200 from these stores. I've gotten $10 off. I've gotten $15 off as well for buying little shoes. Like there's a pair of Pumas around there that I bought. And then there's some Jordans as well. Those are like 160. Those are another $15 off on each pair. And they just start adding up. Like I've definitely gotten at least, I want to say at least $500 for free from the store. And that's a lot. $500 is a lot. That's a pair of Yeezys for resale price. And you still come out profiting actually. You're really saving a lot of money by using these. I know a lot of you might have already known about this, but there's those people that don't. And this money is just sitting there. You have to check your emails that you have linked with your VIP accounts when you buy the shoes. Or if you don't even have a VIP account, I recommend you get one. Well, it's not a VIP. You can just sign up for an account. VIP usually happens when you spend at least $300, which is not that hard if you're buying shoes all the time because shoes really do stack up when you start buying them a lot. If you open that app, there is a tab that tells you the offers. At least that's how it was before. Now, I think they've been changing things differently. It's been really weird now because people have been faking these coupons and the barcodes. So they have pretty much been scamming these foot sites. So now I think the only way they do it is by receipt. So every time you spend at least those amounts that I spoke of earlier, they are going to give you a separate receipt with that coupon and you can use it from a certain date until a certain date and that's another plus that range is so long it's like at least two months i think and one tip i want to give you guys is always save your receipts and the coupons that they give you and make sure you keep them in good condition or else they won't scan like i recently just had a problem with one of the coupons that i got i went to a store down in south florida to try to redeem it and it just wouldn't scan because it was all crumbled up and then i thought it was just their scanner or whatever but then i went to new york and I tried it again and then it what well, really crumbled up there because i went through my luggages and stuff and went through my book bag and stuff which got really messed up the guy was being a dick and he told me to just hit up customer service and i was like you know what whatever i'm just gonna hit them up and they emailed me another one they were kind enough to actually email me another coupon which i was able to use today and i was able to pick up this lebron jersey unfortunately it's not the one with stitching it was one of the cheaper ones it was a 70 dollar one but i was able to get it for 50 dollars which to me a jersey for 50 dollars a real jersey that's not a steal i mean it's a good price but it's not a steal it was between this one and the curry one but i personally do not like the colors of the golden state warriors they're absolutely ugly it's hard to match with so i just don't even bother getting them and on top of that the logo is just like a big circle it's really plain at least this one it says cleveland and then you have a big 23 in the front it looks really dope and it's of course lebron james the king you know a lot of you guys might hate him but he is the goat of our time other items i got for a good price was this windbreaker which does have a stain right there as you guys can see i spilled i think it was like some pizza on my chest when i was going out somewhere and it was really embarrassing i had to cover it up with my kids pack my crossbody bag not my fanny pack which a lot of you guys might call it this i was able to get for less than 20 dollars when this was going for 70 dollars plus on retail this was on clearance and i was lucky enough to find my size which there's another video i'll get into later on about 
without like clearance and stuff like that. And then this is also another one that I got for less than 10 bucks. I think it was literally $8 for this because it was like a $30. It was also on sale and I had a coupon for it. So I got it for a steal. I got two windbreakers for a steal. Windbreakers are really stylish nowadays. They're actually just really stylish overall, not just nowadays. And there you guys can see that you guys can get pretty much steals with these discounts. So I recommend you guys to check your emails, check your app, and also check all your receipts. Maybe you have one lying around there that you haven't used and you could use it. Go to the store right now. Go buy whatever you can. You can use them all on the same day. And if they tell you that you can't, just be like, I'm going to come back tomorrow anyways. Why are you going to make me waste my time? And then they're going to be like, you're right. And they're going to use it. And I forgot to mention, you can even get some things for free. For example, I got this champion hat. Really nice hat. And it's a champion, you know. Champion's really hype nowadays. I got it for free. It was $20. I gave them a $20 coupon and they literally handed the hat to me. They said, you don't have to pay anything. Really, you guys, go ahead and search everywhere for those coupons. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. And you guys know that before I go, I do got to give a shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day does go to a person with a really weird name. It's spelled really, really weird with like weird apostrophes and grammar. It's not grammar, but it's called punctuation. Or I think that's what it's called when it's on the letters. It's like apostrophes and stuff. I'm going to try to pronounce it the way it looks without the apostrophes. And that is Andrej Cerny or O-N-D-R-E-J space C-E-R-N-Y. Anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Anyways, guys, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers by the end of this month. So please smash that like button. And most importantly, smash that subscribe button. It makes me feel good to know that the sub count is going up. Anyways, guys, make sure you keep grinding. It's your boy, I think you're signing out. Thank you.